Oh, you got the dog. I might be coming for you. Wow. Oh, hold on, hold on. Say that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Do it again. Do it again. Say that again. Hey, oh, that's who it is. I got <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm like, show off. I love this. Mm. I love this. this show off. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. We're starting off with my favorite thing, Vietnamese iced coffee. If you haven't had it, it's really strong and it's sweetened with condensed milk and then they serve it with a cup of ice and it's so good. I had to put everyone at the table onto it. This was my little sis. Jaya's birthday dinner celebration. We we're blessed to be able to end the night in prayer right on the street, right in the hood, which is an honor. But I think it's important to mention that that happens because of what happens in the secret place, which is what you're seeing here. The oil that you see is also about what happens here our home church, Come Connect Church in Albany, New York. We all serve in ministry and are tapped in every single Sunday. <laughs> this week's message was so good. I'll link it in the description box as usual. Hey y'all, um, today I am doing an early Valentine's Day celebration with Keenan because we're both gonna be working on Valentine's Day. We decided to take a day that we both have off earlier in the week to celebrate. So he made me some coffee, told me to get ready, and he's like setting up a little surprise day. So I just finished getting ready, wanted to check in with the vlog. Um, I don't know if it's just me, or if there's like other women who feel like this, but like, I feel like I've just reached a point where you know, my hair has changed, my body has changed, my environment has changed, the type of clothing that I wear has changed. And it's like, when I get ready, it like takes me a couple, you know what I mean? Like, it takes a mental pep talk, it takes some trial and error in order for me to like, get it right. And it's not even, it's in the theme of confidence, but it's not like, I don't feel beautiful. It's just like, I'm trying to figure out like, how I want to present myself. I don't know if that makes sense, but I've talked to some other women in the past that like you reach this certain point where it's like you're working with different <laughs> tools. Like my curl pattern is different. My body is different. Like how do I get it ready, you know? Also on this theme of like womanly type things, um, this is a red raspberry leaf tincture that I made. And so it's pretty much the herb of red raspberry leaf steeped in alcohol. Uh, for four to six weeks and then I strain the herbs out and then this liquid is what's left and then I take it in dropper form as needed and I used to actually have um, a business where I sold things like this in California um, and then when I was a doula I would share it with different different herbal remedies with my clients but um, this helps me so much with having painless periods um, just wanted to like share this tip that like if you um, have like really bad cramps that utilizing red raspberry leaf you can have it in tea form um, or tincture form like this you can probably even just buy it at the store red raspberry leaf tincture that plus like making sure you're hydrated enough and eating leafy greens regularly throughout the different phases of your cycle because you know like you have your menstrual phase there's different phases of your um, moon cycle too it just helps with like your overall reproductive health as a woman which is something that i'm really passionate about and when i do get pregnant one day and become a mother i definitely plan to still implement this but yeah like i'm experiencing um, my menstrual phase right now and i have like no cramps i feel like energized um, i'm not having any like cravings or you know too bad of mood swings so i feel like the red raspberry leaf and just the overall like precautions i take throughout the month really helps with that so this was our exchanging of gifts which was really sweet and then he planned out a cute little brunch for us to go out on. This was our second Valentine's Day together as a couple, but our first time celebrating it without sin. And I can honestly testify that it is so much sweeter walking in God's way and receiving the fruits of pursuing him. Not to say that our walk is perfect, but we're trying and our eyes have been opened and he's been able to reveal himself to us in such a special way. 
since we've been pursuing him wholeheartedly. The food was delicious. He did a great job picking the restaurant. Everything was just so nice. And, uh, yeah, and we did this, and then, you know, we went and got coffee. And then, yeah, so overall, guys, it was just... <laughs> He thinks he's so funny, but that's how you know he's my biggest fan. He already knows how I've given it up on the vlog. But I wanted to share this scripture with y'all. Colossians 3 and 5 says, Put to death, therefore, what is earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. I thank God that he is helping us let go of sexual immorality and idolatry in our relationship and setting the foundation for a healthy marriage. So in this lovey-dovey Valentine's Day mood, the next clip you're gonna see is me making synagogue wings. Synagogue is a tamarind-based Filipino stew. It's sour and savory, and it was so good. The vlog eats first. Come on, man. Okay, let me see your reaction. If you're wondering why he is eating rice with his hands, <laughs> That's because in Filipino culture, we eat most things with our hands. So throughout the duration of our relationship, I've been showing him the eating with your hands technique. He's still perfecting it, though. <laughs> These next clips are from my first friend date with my girl, Maria. Shout out to you, girl. We met at small group at church, um, and we both found out that we're from California, transplanted to New York. So we kind of connected on that level, plus the love of the Lord, of course. We were meeting at a cute little brunch spot, but there was a home goods next door, and I was like, girl, just meet me here because I already know I'm going to get distracted for a while. <laughs> I was picking out a new rug for my prayer closet. I went with the darker orange one on the right. I kind of feel like I got the wrong one. I might just have to repurpose it for a different space and keep looking around for my prayer closet rug. This was the cute little spot that my friend Maria suggested. It was very new age in terms of its decor, but we definitely brought the glory of the Lord to that place. I'm so glad her and I got to connect this day. So many cheat codes and blessings were unlocked in our conversation, and I feel like that's the biggest gift of fellowship with other believers, is that you get to understand the mysteries of heaven more when you see how God works intimately and closely in another person's life. So shout out to you, girl. I really appreciate your friendship. One thing I definitely miss about California is that there are more thrifting options there. Where we live um, in New York, there's just not a lot of great thrift stores, but my friend did show me this secondhand kind of like warehouse type of store where you can get really great deals. And I found this super cute crock pot for seven dollars which is amazing and it fits the color theme of my kitchen so I feel like God held that just for me so in the light of getting my new crock pot I decided to make pot roast for dinner so that's what you're seeing here I started learning how to cook when I was about 13 and even though it kind of felt like a burden at that time because it was out of necessity I thank God for these skills because they're blessing me now as a grown woman and someone who's getting ready to become a wife and a mother. But ever since that time, I really found it so therapeutic, prepping, cutting, washing vegetables. Like cooking is fun, like actually on the fire, but it's the prep work that is really therapeutic for me. I got all of this ready for my household before I left. I actually didn't eat it though because this was a music ministry night where Warriors for Christ um, went out and shared our music at a Chinese buffet. So that's what you're gonna be seeing in the next clips. You know what? I am called. I am chosen. Jesus qualified the broken. I am love. I am blessed. Make me through every test. I am seen. I am taken. I'm my flesh every day. I'm strong. I'm secure. Too much more protection. Citizen in the kingdom. God is love. Gain the power from his name and freedom from all sin. Behold, I have a messenger from Paris. Holy way, who can endure that day? Who can stand face to face? Citizen in the kingdom. God is love. Gain the power from his name and freedom from all sin. Behold, I have a messenger from Paris. Holy way, who can endure that day? Who can stand
The Holy Spirit moved in a mighty way. Everyone in the restaurant was blessed by the word of God that was shared through our music. And I just can't thank him enough for what he's doing through this ministry. Hey, y'all. So today is Saturday. Um, I had so many big plans on doing these little house projects and all the things, but I ended up just needing to rest and restore today. I spent like all morning just cuddling with my dog and it's been great. Such a little nap. The man of God just left to go help set up at church. So I think I'm going to use this time to get a workout in and I'll take you with me through that process. I like to do Grow with Joe on YouTube. Um, she's great. I've seen results. It's like a scientific based method. It's beginner friendly. It's a lot of fun. She even has like gospel workouts that I love to do. They're usually between like 15 and 30 minutes. So I'll do like one or two of those and then just a little bit of strength training. My other biggest goal for the weekend that I'm not going to skip out on no matter what is um, reorganizing my prayer closet. So it's a hot mess right now. I'll probably show you guys the before just to keep it real because that's a theme on this channel. Like I don't shy away from the real life things, uh, but I can't wait to show you the after. I got a couple pieces that I needed, like a side table and, that I needed in there. And then the man of God got me a lamp because my string lights went out. Um, so I found like the perfect lamp and I just can't wait. I've been praying in there still uh, just with the loads of laundry and just like things that were bothering me, but I can't wait to have it be like a relaxing and cute space. So let's get on to this workout because at this point I'm stalling. <laughs> if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, you've seen that in September, God had me in a 40 day fast that he was calling boot camp in which I started focusing on my physical health and working out and he told me he was preparing me then one of my pastors at church during that time prophesied that I was entering a season of war that I was the prophetess couldn't have been more correct and now we're here reaping the benefits of that sacrifice and warriors for Christ has been born so it's really just crazy how it works like spiritual warfare is real but we also have to be prepared in the physical the man of God is Puerto Rican and he made some sofrito, so I used that to rework the pot roast leftovers and turn it into kind of like a barbacoa, which we ate in quesadilla form, which was really yummy. My Lola also taught us how to hand roll lumpia, which is a Filipino egg roll, and she shared stories about her and my great-grandmother would roll up hundreds of lumpia and share with everybody at the hospital when my great grandma was sick and during this time holy spirit prompted me to roll up some lumpia and bring it to one of my pastors at church the next day so that's what you're seeing here we were just up late on a saturday rolling up lumpia together <laughs> this sunday i'm not gonna lie to you i wasn't feeling it i was having some heaviness in my spirit but the man of God caught a clip of me worshiping when I caught the Holy Ghost from the media room where he was serving. That's what you're seeing here. <laughs> After church, we went to one of our spiritual mother's house and she fed us. I brought my blanket from the car and took a nap right on her couch. It was everything I needed after a great Sunday. <sighs> I feel so spoiled by God right now. He has been so good to me this week. I've been meaning to vlog, honestly, since Sunday. It's now Wednesday. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. But here's how life has been going just to catch you up on this vlog. I don't know where this clip is going to fall in. Sunday, I was greeting at church, and this is just a quick testimony, right? So I was serving. It was my week to serve. I was like, nothing's going to get in the way of this. But like, as I'm sitting at the front greeting, the Holy Spirit is just moving over me. And I'm literally like sitting there crying, just feeling the love and the healing power of God specifically on the topic of like God being my father being a loving father there's no father wound that has a home here because I'm a daughter of God and he was just like <clears throat> excuse me ministering to me on that level while I'm greeting so I'm like choking back tears people are like are you okay and I'm like I'm okay God just loves me <laughs> but anyways so I'm greeting um and then the leader of the greeting team is like hey, the Holy Spirit just told me that, you know, you need to be in the sanctuary right now receiving this worship, so I'll cover for you. And needless to say, you know, the Holy Spirit, as always, was right. I got wrecked on Sunday at church, had some great conversation with my pastors afterwards, so boom, that's Sunday. Monday, I was like, okay, I didn't vlog on Sunday. I was getting wrecked at church, but it's Monday. It's a new week. I'm vlogging 
period right the man of god surprises me with a valentine's day like early because he's working today but he wasn't working on monday so he surprises me with like a cute little valentine's early valentine's day outing we went to brunch and he got me all these like really meaningful gifts and i was just so blown away by how thoughtful that was um and then monday night was small group and i was like okay i got surprised earlier <laughs> I was in the moment. I wasn't able to vlog that much, but small group, I'm vlogging, period. The Holy Spirit was like, girl, <laughs> sit. if you don't sit down, tell me why deliverance broke out. And I got jumped and beat up and beat down in the spirit. I was like, all right. We were in Galatians, we were in Galatians 3 on the topic of freedom. And then one of the elders leading the group was like, you know, I just, at the end of our conversation, at the end of the group, he was like, you know, I just feel the Holy Spirit getting ready to give freedom today. And I just want to know who in here is in need of freedom. I'm hearing mental freedom. I'm ready to move these couches back and let the Holy Spirit work. I was like, oh my gosh, because this church gives it up crazy when it comes to small groups and deliverance. Like it really be going down like that. So I was like, it's me. Don't pass me by God. Like I need Holy Spirit. I need deliverance. And that I got I literally felt as the woman of God was holding me and praying deliverance over me prophesying over me I felt in my heart like a little pocket just open up and I felt that demon leave I felt it I literally could feel the demon leave my body and I've spoken to some other friends who've gotten delivered before and they've said that like you can feel you can feel it resist and you can feel it leave and I literally felt it leave and so I was wrecked uh, like <laughs> that was such a tiring experience but in a good way like if you ever been delivered you know like afterwards the dust settles pieces are coming back together in their proper way because now there's not that demon restricting things can come together as they need to come together and it's a tiring process um but I'm so grateful for that like the heart of my faith is in home churches and small groups because that's how like how I experienced Jesus for some of my early years as a believer like I remember being how old must I have been like 14 15 maybe even 13 um and I experienced a, a youth group at church and then the youth ministry had home groups like small groups and that was so much fun like that is why I have such a big heart for youth and young adult ministry is because they grabbed me up like it was relatable it was real we were talking about the tough stuff and they planted seeds in me that I can only praise God for now because I have an understanding I have like language I have other people I can look up to that even though I was a babe I had people who were eating of meat you feel me that were pouring and sowing into me that I was able to glean from as a child so even though I bumped my head and I made my own mistakes growing up I have their wisdom that I can still pull from and then God just blessing me too with like two my two best friends in high school God bless y'all if you ever see this they would bring me to their churches because I didn't grow up in church at all but I experienced Jesus for myself and I had a hunger for him as a high schooler so my two best friends were um, also hungry for Jesus and they would individually bring me to their churches on the weekends and they were both home churches and I would just remember like Holy Spirit breaking out people are blasting off in tongues people are receiving visions people are prophesying like I'm getting moved and this was all in someone's living room someone's dining room someone's garage and it's like I didn't even know at the time because I was still just learning the Bible, that that is the original church, the ecclesia, just like in the book of Acts. That's where the upper room was first access was in the home. So yeah, that was, that was Monday. <laughs> and then Tuesday comes around. I was so exhausted. Like deliverance, it really takes a toll when it's, when it's that deep and restorative. So I was blessed to be able to sleep in. I slept in. And I just took the day easy. Like, I did my work. I did, you know, my housework, my actual work for my job. But I just, like, made a point to be gentle with myself and to be kind and not be, like, 
giving myself this narrative that I'm not doing enough. You know what I mean? Like I really like to fire off on all ends and just cover all my bases, but sometimes you need to just chill, you know? There's a deep work that the Holy Spirit was has been doing inside my heart in preparation for what's to come and just in hindsight, you know, of everything I've experienced, I'm in this transition right now into a whole new thing. So Holy Spirit's been healing my heart and I just needed Tuesday to just rest. So no vlogging was done. Um, I did go to the studio last night, um, Warriors for Christ Music Ministry. We are getting ready to be released. One of our songs is now available on all platforms. It's called His Way. I'll link it in the description box, um, but we're perfecting our craft. We're continuing to pray, we're continuing to read, we're continuing to be obedient, we're continuing to submit, and God is getting ready to do something mighty with with our yes. Um, so that was last night, and now we're here today, Wednesday, and I actually have a major testimony today, which is that if you have ever struggled, you know what I mean, with getting your points and your documents together to, to get you an ID or a license from the DMV, especially in New York, where it's extra spicy <laughs> okay you gotta be tough to go in that dmv what i have been putting off getting um just my documents are just a mess you know what i mean so i needed a new id long story short and my dog ate my old id and it's just been a hassle that i've been putting off for months getting all the qualifying documents to get a replacement and i i was praying you know i went in that DM i went to a specific location that the holy spirit led me to I'm blasting off in tongues while I'm waiting. <laughs> and I got the man of God, my fiance, praying for me at the same time. So we're touching and agreeing. And after months of trial and error, today was finally the day that I got my new ID. I'm officially a New Yorker. What? But it just felt so good, like such a relief. Like now, you know, if God calls me to take a flight, right? Like if, if there's somewhere he needs me to be that requires me to fly, I have that freedom again because I don't have to worry about my ID being bitten up by my dog. So God is so good. He also spoiled me with winning a cash app giveaway from one of my favorite Christian rappers. His name is Secret last night. So that was really cool. Shout out to Secret. Um, I'll link my favorite song of his in the um, description below. Really cool Christian drill rap. Um, and then I also got like free Chick-fil-A. I was in the line at Chick-fil-A. They were like, here's some free stuff, mama. And yeah, I just feel the favor of the Lord all over me. I receive it. I'm so grateful. And I pray the same for you all. So the man of God and I went on a date to get poke, which is like pretty much fish bowls. And I got a sushi burrito. But what was unique about this place was that they wrapped it in hot Cheeto dust. It sounds crazy, but it was so good. He had to take a bite. Usually he says no to adventurous foods like this, but he opened up his mind and he enjoyed it. <laughs> to tell you I cannot make this stuff up the craziest thing just happened I cannot praise the Lord Jesus enough I was upstairs working editing videos for you guys and my Lola my grandma who lives with me runs upstairs she notices my dog my police dog who I call Pootie he is albino German Shepherd he was barking like mad aggressive like he barks anytime anyone comes near me but this time it was really aggressive and I was upstairs working. I didn't know what was wrong with him. Then my Lola runs upstairs and she tells me there's a fire next door. There's literally a fire in the two story unit next door to my house. It is spread to the backyard of their backyard and the wind is pushing it toward my house. So at this point I see how fast the fire is spreading and I'm praying in my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have three dogs in the house. I don't know what I'm going to do because they are wild and if I have to bring them out into this chaos, it's going to be a hot mess. A couple of neighbors come in and they start, I don't have a hose, so they're filling up trash cans with water in my bathtub and just trying to keep the fire away from my house. God bless those men of God just working as hard as they can to keep it at bay until the fire department comes. It's like five minutes until the fire department gets here. But let me add some context for y'all. I cannot make these details up, okay? Literally, Monday night, it's Wednesday today, Monday night, I was leaving small group. I drove past a fire station. I had to stop because a fire truck was backing up into the fire port of the station. And God told me, this whole time that you're sitting here and while you're driving, I want you to pray for the firemen. Pray for the fire station. Pray for the firefighters. And I was like, okay, yeah, 
God bless them. And I just sat there and I prayed for them and prayed for them and prayed for them two days ago. And you guys, this is why I really just can't stop shouting, my Lord. Oh my God. There, I'm going to show you a clip, but there was a bush next to my house that burned. And I am telling you, if God didn't use a burning bush to reveal himself to his servant Moses, I have, I told you, I've been praying, praying, praying. And my prayer has been, this ground is holy. I, I am not kidding. I am not exaggerating. That's literally what I've been praying to the Lord. You know, we were in this house sinning when God blessed us with it. But we have turned it around. We have repented. We have dedicated ourselves and our bodies and our minds and our actions, most importantly, to the Lord. And we fall short, but he's still good. And this ground is holy. He is still the same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is still the same God that's burning bushes. He is still the same God that comes to us in a small whisper just to make himself know he is still the God that's doing miracles. He is still the God that's delivering us from Pharaoh. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I'm telling you, we're going to need him in this hour. If you don't know him, if you're not saved, if you don't have a prayer life, if you don't own a Bible, now is the time to make some changes, y'all, because we're going to need him. The attacks of the enemy, they're prevalent and they're here, but guess who's bigger and guess who's better? His name is Jesus. This morning, God woke me up at 2.30 in the morning to pray. Like I literally woke up praying. I couldn't stop praying. I stayed up praying for about three hours, went back to sleep. Then I got on prayer call with the church at 6.30, um, went back to sleep for a little bit and then started work around like nine. But literally God woke me up just to pray for three hours this morning. I was praying, I was in my word. And I was telling someone from small group, like sometimes God does that to me where he keeps me up at night, but it's not in a bad way. Like I'm not tormented. He just wants my time and attention and I give it to him. Um, so I was literally up praying and in the word all night. And when I tell you, I'm going to add footage so you all can see that I'm not being hyperbolic, but literally the fire came this close to my house, but it didn't touch this home that is dedicated to the Lord Jesus Christ. When he said, touch not my anointed one, that's all I can keep hearing in my head as I prayer walk this property as I worship through this house, as I pray through this house, the firefighters were trying to interview me. They were like, excuse me, ma'am. I was like, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm praying. What do you need? My bad. I just could. I was in here worshiping with the firefighters, <laughs> praying with the firefighters. Like, there's just no way my God is this good. It almost spread into my basement and the firefighters went and did an audit of the basement and they found that it's not up to code. If the fire would have gotten in there, it could have been very dangerous. So not only did God use this experience to glorify his own name, but to expose what wasn't right and what was hidden down below, my Lord. My new and improved prayer closet. Let me give y'all a little tour, 0.5 it. This was the rug. I feel like it's too matchy-matchy with the couch, but it'll do for now. Um, this is where I put a lot of my petitions to the Lord up. My little couch where you see me make a lot of videos. Worship flags in the corner. Plant pictures. Bible, Bible study table. Down here is where I keep my um, notebooks and things like that. And then I have like a lot of my post-it notes over in this corner by the couch. And then this is the side table I got for a steal. It was $20, and then this is like a bunch of just decor that the man of God has gotten me for my birthday, Christmas. I wasn't feeling good. I had COVID, so he got me gifts and Valentine's Day. <laughs> so this is that, and then more prayers, of course. I'm probably going to just be in here for the rest of the day. I got dinner done early, but I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. If you did, leave me a comment, drop me a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Send it to somebody you know. It's amazing to see what God has been doing with this channel. I remember having like a hundred subscribers and I was like, wow, no way. And now we're at 400. So glory to God, it's all his and it's all for him. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.